Welcome to LMN News Broadcast Special. As many of you will be aware, around one in four people experience mental ill health at some point in their lives. That's the official statistic, though some would say the reality is more startling. Towards a Mentally Flourishing Scotland is a policy and action plan which outlines the government's plans for mental health improvement over the period 2009 to 2011. This has gone some way to addressing the issue of mental health improvement out with existing health services and providers. One of the key issues is the burden placed on our economy by the often lack and insufficient resources resulting in poor opportunities and issues of unemployment. At local level in Lanarkshire something different is happening. I went along to meet with a group of people who are living positively with mental ill health. This is despite the adversity they can face on a daily basis as a result of their illness or through discrimination. The lyrics and songwriting group from the Lanarkshire Recovery Network have been working hard over the past six months to tell their personal stories through the medium of song. A number of those songs have been recorded and their CD will be unveiled at the launch of the Lanarkshire Mental Health Arts and Film Festival. Here's what they had to say. from being part of the lyrics and songwriting group? Well, I would have to say it was, it was good to meet a lot of new and interesting people. It all started in February and along the way we've made some good friends and had lots of fun. So, and we just hope that the songs that we did maybe help other people that have maybe got the same illness as myself and maybe some of the other people that are in the, were in the music group. How did you go about writing your song for the CD? Basically, it's my life experience living with bipolar. Thanks for sharing that with us, Kate. You're welcome. How did you take your life experiences in living with bipolar disorder and put them into a song? Well, the start of the song was when I'm ill, the way I go when I'm ill. And the middle, the middle part of the song is when I'm being treated and when they're bringing me down when I'm in a, a manic episode. And the last part is the recovery, when you're becoming well. Tommy, what do you feel you've got out of being a part of the lyrics and songwriting group? It gives me a lot of confidence. It gives me a lot more... feeling to get the words to put into the songs. Tommy, how did you take your feelings and put them into a song? My feelings actually started with, with a poem that I wrote all about my own recovery and uh, on seeing it, my musicians I was speaking to had said that uh, it sounded quite good as a song. I thought he was just kidding me on. But uh, as things happened and it turned out, it came out as a song, as Big Watt Babes is in him yet. And uh, it was actually a true story about my losing my mother and my father and my wife to start with in the recovery programme that I made, started myself to get by myself, get myself by my feet. Will you do any more songwriting as a result of this experience? I certainly hope so, because uh, I really enjoyed doing this CD and I've actually wrote a song about my wife, you know, through her life and her, what she'd done uh, through her life as well. And uh, I hope sincerely that it doesn't stop me from I hope it will progress me for doing more songs after that. Smile in wonder when I 
So there we have it. In our society today, there's a tendency to view those who are ill or in receipt of welfare benefits as a drain on our economy. From what we've heard here, it's clear to see that there are lessons to be learned in order for attitudes towards mental ill health to change. Here in Lanarkshire, agencies around recovery and those they support are asking for not only a mentally flourishing Lanarkshire, but also a mentally flourishing Scotland. This is Angela Pellegrini for LMN News Broadcast Special.